Hi geometry students, it's time for some extra practice with angle relationships with triangles and intersecting lines. So make sure you have out your worksheet, your pencil, and your calculator, and find the pause button for this movie so that you can pause it and work out the problems. First we're going to be working with the triangle sum theorem, which says that all three angles in any triangle have a sum of 180 degrees. So, in number one, we'll use the triangle sum theorem. And we'll start by writing an equation. The equation for this problem would be 75 plus 60 plus x is equal to 180 degrees. When you finish solving this equation, you should get an answer for x of 45 degrees. For problem 2, which is very similar, you should get 35 degrees. Please pause the video now and work out numbers 1 and 2. Problem 3 also uses the triangle sum theorem. These two angles are congruent, so this is an isosceles triangle. The equation we would write for this is 100 degrees plus x plus x is equal to 180. When you finish this problem, you should get an answer of x is equal to 40 degrees. After you work out problem 4, you should get an answer of x is equal to 34 degrees. You should pause the video and do problems 3 and 4 now. Numbers 5 and 6 also use the triangle sum theorem. The equation for number 5 should be 60 degrees plus 60 degrees plus 4x plus 10 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. When you finish solving this equation, you should get an answer of x is equal to 12.5 degrees. When you finish number six, your answer should be x is equal to 15 degrees. Pause the video and do numbers five and six now. The next few problems involve intersecting lines. In number seven, we have vertical angles. Vertical angles are congruent So these two angles would be equal in measure. The equation we would write is 45 degrees is equal to 3x. When you solve this equation, you should get that x is equal to 15 degrees. For number eight, the correct answer is x is equal to 25 degrees. You may pause the video and do problems seven and eight now. Numbers 9 and 10 involve supplementary angles. These two angles form a straight line, so they have a sum of 180 degrees. The equation that we could write for number 9 would be 68 degrees plus 5x plus 12 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. When you solve this problem, the correct answer would be x is equal to 20 degrees. 10 is quite similar. When you solve this problem, the answer is x is equal to 5 degrees. Pause the video and do problems 9 and 10 now. In problem 11, 
we're using the triangle sum theorem again. This time, we have a 90 degree angle marked with this perpendicular marking. So when we write our equation, we would write 90 plus 19x plus 3 degrees plus 30 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. When you finish solving this equation, the correct answer will be x is equal to 3 degrees. When you finish solving number 12, you should get x is equal to 10 and 2 thirds degrees. Pause the video and work problems 11 and 12 now. In problem 13, we have parallel lines. And so let's take a look at the angle relationships formed in these parallel lines. This 142 degrees corresponds to the 20x plus 2 degrees. Corresponding angles are equal, and so the equation that we could write for number 13 is 2x, sorry, 20x plus 2 degrees is equal to 142 degrees. When you solve this equation, the correct answer would be x equals 7 degrees. Also look for corresponding angles in problem 14. When you finish problem 14, you should get x is equal to 2 degrees. Pause the video and do numbers 13 and 14. Problems 15 and 16 also involve parallel lines, so let's find out what relationships are involved. In this problem, 128 degrees corresponds to this unmarked angle. That means this unmarked angle is also 128 degrees. So 128 degrees and 7x plus 3 form a straight line, straight angle pair, so the sum of those two angles is 180. This means that the equation we can write is 128 plus 7x plus 3 degrees. is equal to 180 degrees. When you solve this equation, the answer is x is equal to 7 degrees. Try to find the same type of relationship in problem 16. When you finish, you should be getting the answer x equals 25 degrees. Pause the video and do problems 15 and 16. Problem 17 involves triangle sum theorem and supplementary angles. We can use the triangle sum theorem to find this unmarked angle within the triangle. So the equation we would use is 23 degrees plus 58 degrees plus, let's use the variable y, is equal to 180 degrees. Solve this equation to get the unmarked angle y. Let's take another look at the diagram. This unmarked angle y, which you just found the degree measurement for, forms a straight angle pair 
with the angle marked X. So the sum of those two angles is 180 degrees. The equation then that we could write to find X is Y plus X is equal to 180. Substitute the value you got for Y and solve for X. The correct answer would be X is equal to 81 degrees. Problem 18 is almost the same. When you finish, you should be getting X is equal to 7.5 degrees. Pause the video and do problems 17 and 18. In problem 19, we have an isosceles triangle because two sides are marked congruent. That means that the angle opposite from these sides are congruent. So this angle is congruent to this angle. That means the equation that we could write is 5x plus 36 degrees is equal to 9x. When you finish solving this equation, you should get x is equal to 9 degrees. In problem 20, we also have an isosceles triangle, but this time we're looking for x as part of the side length. Since the base angles are congruent, we know that the two side lengths are congruent. So we could write an equation saying 8x plus 12 degrees, sorry, 8x plus 12 inches is equal to 12x minus 18 inches. When you solve this problem, you should get an answer of 7.5 inches. Problem 21 is very similar. It's an equilateral triangle, so we know that all three sides have the same length. So 8x minus 18 is equal to 5x plus 3. When you solve this, you should get x is equal to 7 centimeters. Problem 22 is very similar to the previous problems. When you finish solving this one, you should get an answer of x is equal to 15.6 degrees. Problem 23 is almost identical to problems 17 and 18. So if you need help, refer back to those. And when you finish solving, you should get an answer of x equals 26 degrees. Pause the video and complete problems 22 and 23. Problem 24 once again uses parallel lines. So let's look for the angle relationship involved. These two angles are between the parallel lines and on opposite sides of the transversal. That means that they're alternate interior lines. Alternate interior lines are congruent, so in our equation we need to set them equal to one another. Our equation would be 15x minus 2 degrees is equal to 13x plus 2 degrees. Please solve this equation and you should get an answer of x is equal to 2 degrees. Pause the video and complete 24 now. Problem 25 also involves parallel lines. 
So when we're taking a look at the relationships involved, we can see that this 40 degree angle is congruent to this angle that's unmarked because they're corresponding angles. That means the second angle is also 40 degrees. Now this 40 degree angle forms a straight angle pair with 3x plus 20. That means the sum of those two angles will be 180 degrees. So the equation we could write is 40 degrees plus 3x plus 20 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. When you solve this equation, you should get x is equal to 40 degrees. Pause the video and complete 25 now. Take a look at problem 26. We have parallel lines and an isosceles triangle with two sides marked congruent. That means that these two angles are congruent. Since the lines are parallel, corresponding angles are congruent. So this angle is congruent to 45 degrees. So that means this one is 45 degrees, and this angle, the other base angle of the triangle is 45 degrees. 45 degrees and 2x plus 5 degrees form a straight angle pair whose sum is 180. So for problem 26, we can write the equation 45 degrees plus 2x plus 5 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. After solving this equation, you should get x is equal to 65 degrees. Pause the video and complete 26 now. Almost finished. The last two problems involve triangle sum theorem. When you finish problem 27, you should get x is equal to 7 and 1 sixth degrees. And when you finish 28, you should get x is equal to 10 degrees. Pause the video and do problems 27 and 28 now.